Hello and welcome to Flory Models, something completely different and something you probably wouldn't have thought I'd have done. What we've got down in here is HM Hobbies 172nd Diecast Tornado. Now this came about when we were talking about um, kits and things on a recent live show and we were saying how far Diecast has come and have I ever worked with Diecast and things like that and to be honest the answer is yes. Uh, back in the day when I used to do commission work one of the commissions I used to do was repainting, fixing, repairing uh, basically Diecast models things like that so perhaps changing markings on them, changing colour schemes or just general repairs and things like that. So anyway what we thought we'd do is have a look. So this is from uh, Gary at Tiger Hobbies. I'll put the link down below for them. They do all the range of these absolutely fantastic. So thank you to him for giving us one of these to have a look. Okay. So, as you can see, uh, HM Hobby Master, okay, so he said scale authentic, okay, he's got obviously pre-painted, pre-marked and everything as you might expect, so what we got down here, Zulu Alpha uh, 592 Golf from number 9 Squadron, okay, in the markings around about 1983, okay, so running around on the box, you can see it just literally like that, and then again, the turn on the back here, we've got one of these, and we've got a little bit of general background information, things like that, obviously about the aircraft. So let's get straight in. Now, I haven't actually looked in one of these. This is my usual way of uh, doing the reviews. And as you can see, literally, I haven't because it's all still sealed, okay, which is quite handy. So on here, if we have a look uh, at these. So down in here, we have some, uh, I assume, uh, set up instructions in the little packet. All right, so let's have a look at these first. So basically we've got about opening the canopy so we can have the canopy open or closed. We've got figures as well for these ones. And then obviously we've got the little pneumatic uh, bags in the back here, okay? We've got a stand, we've obviously got fuel tanks, we've got jammer pods, buzz pods, things like that, and all the rest of it so you can have it whichever way you want, okay? So what we'll do is we'll just pop down in here and get the stand out. That surprised me because that's actually either metal or something else like that. So let's have a quick look in here. Again, I'm doing this totally blind, so apologies if you're you're used to all of this. So there's that uh, key pin, okay, with a little hook on the end uh, for pulling that out. That's part of the stand. And then in here, we've got the other part. Now this is actually metal. So that's actually quite nice. We've got HM logoed stand here on the bottom. And then we'll assume this probably comes in something like, is it that way or that way? Don't know which way even it goes. Oh my lord, do we get instructions? I would have thought it goes sort of this way. Let's try it in here. Okay, oh I see, All right. Okay, so if I can get that to click in. It's a little bit of flash just down in there and then hopefully it all, oh, no, not wanting to go. There's a little bit of flash just down in here. Oh, I assume it, hold on. There we go, it's in. Work that out, Flory. All right, so that's the stand. And again, it's on a weight as well, so that's quite nice. Now, in here, you can probably see glimpsing through, we have a tail. So I'm just wondering the best way into this is probably to slice it. Okay. And then again, on this side. Proper old school unboxing. Okay, didn't quite work as expected, but there we go, we're in. Okay, so opening it up, we can see we've got some nice protection on this one, so we've got a little bit of the plastic. We have our very nice, which the pito tube has taken a little bit of a whack okay now assuming if i bend that back it's probably going to snap off so it's unfortunate that's had a little bit of a hit biggest thing it grabs you this thing is actually very very heavy okay so we've got a slot down in here the usual thing for the stand all the various parts in there just like that okay so we'll just pop that down a moment then we'll have a look in here and get these out for the gear and these areas just get rid of all of that i am stuck to tape okay so down in here we have our gear, okay, 
so again we just come in here so technically we've got our main gear and to be honest as you say it's got good detail on these no problem at all you could easily add a tiny little bit of detail if you wanted to so you could come in uh, again usual things with perhaps a little bit of we just slice the end it's probably the easiest way uh, a little bit of detailing a little bit of wiring things like that if you wanted to okay so making sure you've got all of those parts out so down in here obviously we've got the doors we've got the gear and everything okay so what we're going to do we'll just push those to one side we'll get these out and then we'll pop it all together okay so we've got funny enough we've got two are these the bose pods but they're identical do we not get the actual uh, the other one the pointy one excuse my references for this one but it doesn't like we do so it looks like we get two of these and we don't get the chaff uh, launcher but we do get our normal free fall bombs just like that we do get fuel tanks and we've got another fuel tank so we don't have a sidewinder rails on these either okay but very nicely done all right so let's have a look down in here so as we can see beautifully done and painted and detailed okay so we've got the cockpit as we were saying before so you have got an on option we can open up the cockpit you've got the little teeth as well which will hold it in and again this is where i used to come in because people used to have them off i used to remove these little locators like this things like that and go right the way through okay but that clicks down in so you could put your crew in there the markings obviously i've done one of these this is the strange thing to this okay so again we've got these little inserts if you wanted to to pop these in but again you could have it folded back right the way through the printing with the actual markings and things like that very nicely done good solid work on these ones and to be honest i haven't seen this particular brand before and i have to say it's really nice you haven't got that usual big chunky joints and things like that they are on here you can see them in here but they're not as heavy as i've seen on other manufacturers shall we say and again the other thing you like to look at as well is sometimes the location of the markings and see exactly how they've done them so sometimes you can often get these don't line up each side things like that all looking very nice no problem at all the lights as well nicely painted on good shades of green i have to say they look very authentic the tails everything's in yeah, actually, that's really very, very nice indeed. I can't fault that. That looks very good. Okay, so looking around at a few of the other points. So let's start with the pilots. Again, the pilots, okay, the helmet green, I think, is probably off. Might need repainting, things like that. Add a little bit more detail, and they're doing the usual thing of holding themselves. Okay, but again, that's pretty much standard for this type of thing. Uh, weapons, again, nicely painted no problem there's no big seam lines in them or anything else like that sometimes you can get so actually that's a nice touch i'm happy with those and we've obviously got the jammer pods on this particular one again doesn't carry the bose pod well, i think it is it's the long pointy one you got two of these instead could be correct i'm not too sure must admit don't know this particular thing okay the printing is actually really very nice indeed no problem at all the camo the edging on it the things like that that all looks very nice very smooth quite authentic okay and then down in here we've got the doors okay and again these are going to be clip-on ones we'll put it together in a moment pretty much standard no problem there's no real detail on the insides okay and again we've got ejector pins but again that's for closed doors so that's fine so that's no problem at all wheel wells again no real detail on the inside but that's only 70 seconds that's absolutely fine again give it a wash things like that make it absolutely pop and it'll look fantastic okay so let's have a go popping this thing together so usual thing be a drop in again this is one of those areas where it does show it you've got the line around the outside and that's because obviously of how this goes in it's a plug-in fit and this is one of those areas you can just touch in if you wanted to and have it in the down okay and we'll pop the gear in I remember which way around this goes Okay, so maybe one gear going down in, two gear down and in, in, and then obviously we want the doors in the open position. So we've got one piece doors going on, and 
the other door. So that's the closed door. There's the open door. I was going to say, having a blonde moment. Okay. There we go. So those are in. Again, you've got the ejector pins in there. You might want to just tidy those up. But generally, very nice indeed. Do I dare try and straighten this out? Okay. Just needs a little bit of a touch up on that end. But there we go. And that's it. So we can put on the pods, the fueling tanks. One, two. We can put on the bomb racks. Center. And three. <coughs> we can put on the pods. And tight fit but that's what we like so they're not going to go anywhere okay just do the geometry making sure they're all square absolutely then if you wanted to again you can pop these in this is what they're talking about so you can put these blanking plates and then you've got the hook for them on the outside and then these go in just in the sides okay but we're not really worried about that and there we have our tornado all together and again you can have it on the stand you can then obviously have it folded back you can put it into any configuration you want let's just straighten these out and again these aren't really like models designed to be played with or anything else like that so we will get this on again sometimes they just need a little bit of fettling just to get them to go in nicely. Okay, you straighten one, you end up mending another, like there, there we go, I'm not going to worry about that anymore, but that's it, just like that. And then, of course, if you wanted to, we can just reconfigure this to go onto the stand. So we'll just put the gear out, we can close up the gear doors, and again, you've got your little slots, and that will just hopefully slot down one in there, hit the gear. Way. We can just come in, nose door out, nose door in, which again is a very nice fit. And that's just going to drop in. There we go, a little bit of a nudge just to get that down in there. Then we can pop it all back together and perhaps we'll fold it all literally back just a little bit. Put the bows pods in. Okay. And then get that wedged in, put these racks back on, and then we can just have it if we wanted to into the up position. And then there we go. <coughs> that has your model just like that. And there we go and have it. Talk about a blast from the past looking at these ones. Again, very, very nice. I have to say the joins extremely fine. You can probably see on the top here, there's obviously a big one for the tail. Very, very small and nice. This clean one across the front here is really nice. The way it all goes together, I have to say that's probably one of the finest ones I've seen. That looks absolutely gorgeous right the way through. No problems with any of that. Again, it's an interesting scheme, interesting model right the way through. So if you are into your die cast, absolutely love it beautiful work and again from a modeling point of view you could easily re-weather it touch it in add a little bit of detail anything like that to turn it into something a little bit special